The idea of Tesla as a company was bold, an electric car startup based in California. Tesla was officially founded in 2003 with a sense of culture and urgency that could not be replicated. Driven by what they hoped the future would hold, those who were there at the beginning were well aware of the risks they faced personally for their involvement in what was, at the time, a company with no products, no revenue, and a lack of funding. Most employees risked their careers for this company, but they understood the cause. The mission Tesla had from day one to accelerate the world's transition to sustainable energy, no matter how small. But the real dream was to do so much more than that. The company wanted to create truly amazing products that would bring real joy to the lives of those who came in contact with them. In 2004, Elon Musk arrived at the company and provided much of the initial capital needed to fund Tesla's first moves. Wasting no time, Tesla outlined their plan to design, engineer, and produce electric cars and ultimately sell them to the masses. In order to do so, Tesla created a three-tiered strategy. The first phase was to release a sports car, which would hopefully be effective in terms of return on investment so that it could be followed by a less expensive sedan and, eventually, a mid-sized all-electric sedan for the masses. The Roadster, Tesla's first consumer product, was an all-electric sports car built on the chassis of the Lotus Elise. Prototypes of the car were officially revealed to the public on July 19, 2006, in Santa Monica, California, at a 350-person invitation-only event. The presentation was held at the Santa Monica Airport. Following its unveiling, the Roadster was featured in Time in December of 2006 and received the magazine's Best Inventions 2006 Transportation Invention Award. The Roadster was the first highway-legal all-electric car to use lithium-ion battery cells and also the first production all-electric car to travel more than 200 miles per charge. The first signature 100 Roadsters sold out in less than three weeks and general production began on March 17, 2008. The first official production Roadster was delivered to Tesla co-founder and chairman Elon Musk. The company produced 500 similar vehicles through June of 2009. However, in July of 2009, Tesla released a serious upgrade to the original car. The update featured an improved interior, the addition of a center display, a redesigned HVAC system, and other benefits. At the same time, Tesla began producing the Roadster Sport, the first car to bear Tesla's innovative, proprietary, and patented powertrain. The car accelerated from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 3.7 seconds. At the time, apart from being Tesla's entrance into the public eye, the Roadster represented hope for a clean, green, electric future. A future that Tesla's technology demonstrated could be possible. As the early Roadster owners soon learned, by buying the car, they were investing in Tesla and a better future. If you could compare a line of Corvettes driving up Highway 1, and they're all you know, gunning their engine, and then you see a line of Teslas, and you can still hear the birds in the ocean, and you see the cars moving, but you don't hear anything. I think that's a big statement right there. You know, you're used to driving and sort of seeing some scenery, but it's another thing to be able to hear what's going on around you and to be able to smell the trees when they're in bloom. There's all this fabulous technology underneath the computer circuits, and it just seamlessly blends into the car itself such that your experience is transparent. There's no motor and explosions and things getting in the way. It's your foot, 
directly to the tires. The car is an extension of my legs, my eyes, my auditory sense. With the Tesla, I almost feel like it becomes a living kind of extension of myself, which is a very hard thing to put into words, but it's something that you really have to feel. It's not how fast the car goes, because every car goes fast, you just have to step on the accelerator. It's how fast you get it to go fast. Every time I step on the torque pedal, it's a sheer joy. It's more like pushing an elevator button. It snaps to life and can pull almost a G of acceleration off a stoplight. It's impossible to describe to anyone what maximum torque at zero RPM feels like. It's a roller coaster without rails. Most electric cars just lame. Like they were these like three wheel bubble things that were slow and just kind of silly and not something you would ever want to try. What I love about Tesla is that they have turned that perception upside down and that electric cars are the fastest and most desirable cars on the planet. I never go to a gas station, ever. Get the charger. Voila, the car is being fed. It's just full every single morning when you get up. It just is so much more convenient. There is almost no maintenance. It's wonderful not having various fluids dripping onto my garage floor. I never have to change the oil. I never have to change the filters. You know, it doesn't make loud noise. It doesn't vibrate. Just going to the grocery store or, you know, there's always somebody that wants to talk about the car. It's as close I'm ever going to be to being a rock star or a professional athlete, right? People everywhere I go stop and want to ask, what's the experience like? I'll be sitting at a stoplight and somebody pulls up next to me and this happens all the time. They'll roll down the window and they go, how do you like it? And I just say, this is the most amazing car I ever made. What do you do when you run out of gas? Well, you don't. That was pretty significant. You drive around all day and you've maybe used that eighth of a tank, tank, and then you charge it up and the next morning it's full again. So it's a, it's a series of topping off like you do a cell phone. The product itself is great, but it's wrapped with a customer experience which is so far superior to any car company. I think that the owners of this car are so passionate about not just the company and the car, but the cause, that there is a level of connectedness. Yeah, we're a little Tesla family. Now that I own this car, I just love to drive. And I find myself taking the long way to work all the time. Just driving to the store, just driving to work, it turns every day into a special ride like that. It's better than a gas-powered car in every dimension. It's more fun to drive, it's easier to maintain, it's just a better experience every single day.